Hey everyone, my name is Kajal and welcome back to another ROS2 tutorial video. In today's ROS2 tutorial video, we will go over actions. We'll go over ROS2 action, different commands available under ROS2 action and run an example using the turtle sim package. I'll include all of the timings in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. So far we've learned about topics and services. Similarly, we also have action as a mode of communication between two nodes. In ROS2 services, one node was a client, another node was a server. The client requested a service and the server responded with the results. For ROS2 action, once the client server sends a request, the server node responds letting them know that the service has been received. You can think of it as in acknowledgement. Next, the server node provides continuous feedback through topics to the client side. In that sense, the server side becomes the publisher and the client side becomes the subscriber. Lastly, you get the results from the server and the client node. An important difference to note between services and actions is services one-time request and one-time response versus action you get continuous feedback. This also makes it possible for you to do other things while this action is being performed. Let's take a look at all of this through a terminal. Open a terminal using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Alt T and type the following command ROS2 action dash dash help. As you can see, you can use info to print information about an action, list to list all the action names available, and send goal to send an action goal. Remember, your terminal can also act as a node and request an action. Next, let's run the turtle sim package. Type the following command on your terminal. ROS2 run Turtle sim, turtle sim underscore node. I'm using tab to autocomplete and hit enter. As you can see, we have a turtle sim window on our right side. Let's start the turtle tell you key node in another terminal. I've rearranged the terminals for better visibility. Type the following command ROS2 run turtle sim turtle tell you key and hit enter. What you see here is actually an action. Remember, your terminal can also act as a node and request an action or service. Now, as I move the turtle around using the keyboard, take a look at what happens on this terminal. We can see the message rotation goal completed successfully. but we don't see any messages when I move the robot forward. This time, after giving an action, I pressed F to cancel that action. And as you can see in the message, it says rotation goal canceled. Next, take a look at this. In this case, I pressed multiple goals one after another. So before the first one was completed, it received another goal. And as you can see, it says rotation goal received before a previous goal is finished. And it aborted the previous goal and went for the next one. And once the next one was complete, it printed the message rotation goal completed successfully. To understand this better, let's look at the ROS2 action list. As you can see, we have the action called rotate absolute. To get more information, we can use the info command. To figure out how to use that, use help. So type the following command, ROS2 action info dash dash help. 
As it says, it will print an information about an action and all it needs is the name of the action. So type the following command. ROS2 action info turtle1 rotate absolute. I'm using tab for autocomplete and hit enter. Here we can see the name of the action and we can also see the client and the server. In this case, the client is the teleop turtle which was run using this terminal and the server is the turtle sim package. So the client is sending message on the rotation goal and the server is completing this action by rotating the turtle. Now let's see if we can send our own goal. As we had seen before, ROS2 action also lets us send a goal. So let's give that a try. Let's use help to figure out how to use this command. As you can see, we need action name, action type and the goal in YAML format on a type of message. If you remember from ROS2 topics and services, we used list minus T to get information on type and the command interface to get the message type. Let's try the same here. Let's start with action type. So type the following command ROS2 action list minus T. With this, we have the name of the action and the type of action. To get the message, let's use the interface command. ROS2 interface show turtle sim action rotate absolute. I'm using tab to autocomplete. The first section gives us data type and name, which in this case is theta. The next section gives us what our resultant value will be, which is again data type and the value. The last section is feedback. So let's give this a try. In case you don't remember, you can once again do ROS to action, send goal, dash dash help to get the exact format, which is action name, type and goal. So type the following command, ROS to action, send goal, action name, action type and the value. Your value for theta can be anywhere between 0 to 1.57 and hit enter. As you can see, the message was sent which is to change theta to 1.3. Then we got a response that the goal was received and accepted. And lastly, we see the results, including the message goal finished successfully. Now in between this, you usually get feedback. To see the feedback message, if you scroll up, we need to use the feedback flag. So let's give that a try. Let's change our goal and use the flag minus F for feedback. As you can see, we got continuous feedback until it reached its goal. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and tell me about it in the comments below. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Before you go, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.